but I'm moving to Japan. YouTube channel I got some things to cover today and I'm excited to share them with you I'm in the editing studio and this is my first YouTube video and I already forgot to introduce myself and they say that nobody out here in the YouTube streets cares about you when they first find your video unless they already know you but if you don't know me my name is Rachel Adams I'm an Olympic volleyball player and I will share the rest about me in the video to video to come but you know gosh i can't believe i forgot to introduce myself okay bye enjoy the rest of the video okay bye i'm gonna share with you all the transitions happening chapters being turned and things going on in my life outside of volleyball the last time you saw me in my normal habitat aka volleyball was in brazil this past season the most amazing experience from top to bottom. I loved my team, fans, the atmosphere, the support that we had, and most importantly, I felt physically, emotionally, and mentally just great. And I miss my teammates, all the dancing we have, the laughs. Seriously, the people of Brazil have my heart and it's such a special way they make you feel, the way they support you, genuine happiness that they have. I just always saw myself smiling and having a good time and it was contagious. I miss my teammates. That was the last time I touched a volleyball and since then, as Serena Williams said, she wants to call it flooring or evolving away from tennis. Quote, she says, I'm here to tell you that I'm evolving away from tennis towards other things that are important to me. And I couldn't relate to that more. And I'm here to share with you what I'm actually evolving to or exploring. What are the things that are important to me? First on the list, if you follow me on social media, you know I got married this summer in June to my husband, Alex Kirk. This wedding was, was in the works for like two, three years. I don't know how long I was working with my wedding planner. Because of COVID, because we're both professional athletes and it's hard to get our schedules synced up in one spot and control a pandemic it took a long time to figure out a date and be able to walk down the aisle but we finally did the day was amazing it was in mexico all of our family and friends took a week off celebrated with us we couldn't have asked for more it was so special and especially since we're outside of the country and away from our family and friends for so much of our career to have them in one place and to have so many of our people meet each other and one of my favorite parts of the wedding was not that people love of the wedding but they loved the people that they met my financial advisor took alex's japanese teammate out on like a boat ride adventure showed him mexico so he knows the way and that was amazing like two people that have never met before the wedding that are out here enjoying each other's company and so many connections are made and people i just love that everyone enjoyed each other's company also we met in turkey i was playing volleyball he was playing basketball so our love is all over this world got married in mexico met in turkey both from the usa <sighs> It's exhausting. So long distance gets old, especially when you're long distance from country to country. What is more important to me now, as much as I love volleyball, is making time for this marriage, making time for my family and friends, and being able to build this life together. Yes, we had our summers together, We're training with the national team, we'd be in California living together, but I know what is calling me and what's pulling me is this next step in enjoying married life. And the next thing I am incredibly passionate about is my mentorship. I am officially a mindset and confidence mentor to female athletes and I want to help them own their confidence during competition through the power of mindset and self-discovery and I finally pieced together all my passion and this is what came. Passion for mindset, passion for connection and working one-on-one -on -one with others, inspiring and encouraging them and just wanting to help push female athletes along on their journey, or just like guide them, not push them, that sounds a little bit aggressive, 
but I'm so excited. I created a mentorship program that's one-on-one -on -one where athletes can work with me. And it's a three-month program. And I wish I had this when I was an athlete on my way to Olympic. Just being able to have this source that I could ask questions, create goals, be like, this is what happened to me in the game because when I was on the way to Olympics, I didn't know I was dealing with a lot of mindset because we train our bodies more than we train our mind. And studies show that training your mind is just as important as training your body. And I truly believe that a well-equipped mindset and a strong sense of self are some of the most important things an athlete can have to navigate the daily challenges that they are asked to face. I truly believe this. And I almost learned that the hard way. I had a coach come up to me and he says, why does it look like you don't deserve to be out there on the court? And I was like, what are you talking about? And in reality, I was not taking up space. I was filled with self-doubt. And I had gone to Texas on scholarship. I had, I was in the national team gym, but still I had some doubts and some stories and some things that I was telling myself about my capabilities, my limits, and what my skills were that wasn't allowing me to take up space on the court. I had that confidence during competition, no matter if I made a mistake, no matter if there was a challenge, no matter if I wasn't playing, no matter if the game wasn't going right. Being able to have confidence for myself and so my teammates could see my confidence and be able to rely on me. And so I wanna help female athletes navigate these things, like not showing up on game day the way they want, like not competing the way they want, perfectionism, feeling like they're not capable when they're in the gym and, or on the court or on the turf and they look around and they feel inferior or they don't belong there because they do, but their mind is telling them they don't. So it's my passion to help them navigate that and I've launched it and I'm so excited. I've had a lot of help along the way to help me create this vision that I have and put the words to it, taking pictures. And you can follow my Instagram journey strength for more because I'll be sharing a lot there. Inspiration, things for athletes, encouragement. Yeah, I'm so excited. The third thing, I don't know if you could guess it if I, when I said I wanted to spend time in a marriage, that means I had to move to Japan. Did I say my? husband lives in Japan he's played there for, for the past five years and yes he can speak Japanese and write Japanese and I'm really impressed I don't know if I'm gonna get to that level but I'm gonna do my best but I'm moving to Japan and yes I've lived in different countries I lived in Poland for two years Italy for three years Turkey for three years and Brazil for one year you know for seven eight month seasons but this is going to be different yes i'm living in a different country but there's going to be no volleyball so most of my time was planned out by a team two practices a day lifting traveling film everything and now i have to figure out how i want to fill up my time i have my mentorship and working with my athletes but where do i want to work out what are my favorite coffee shops what are going to be my wellness things what's going to keep me grounded what kind of food am i going to like who are my friends gonna be, you know? It's a whole new world out there when you're in a different country but have no sport. Cause you have your teammates, you have all your time filled, but there's so much to explore and so much to see and I'm so excited because I'm gonna go from athlete to now supporting an athlete. So there's so many things that I'm gonna have to navigate. And yes, I've been to Japan before with USA Volleyball. We have a lot of tournaments in Japan, obviously visiting Alex, but living there is a different story. Making a life there, finding my places, my people, that's all gonna be different. And that's the journey I wanna take you guys on. And this is why I created this YouTube channel, to share my journey going to Japan to share these things that I'm exploring outside of volleyball, to share the mindset that I've learned along the journey, how I take care of myself when it comes to wellness, the things that I do, and I'm so excited. And I just wanna show up, and I know I don't have to show up perfectly, and I'm like a perfectionist. I have these tendencies, be like, okay, when everything's perfect, I can show up. But I'm gonna show up imperfectly, even though, <laughs> I'm also waiting for my visa, so when I'm going to Japan is unknown. Update, as of October 11th, the Japanese borders are open. I don't know if you know anything about Japan, but they're very strict about processes. They've been even stricter about COVID. And so we're waiting for my visa to go from where they submitted it to, to Alex's gym, and then mail it to me, and then I'll have to go to Detroit to get it in my passport. And can you look at my passport picture? 
I don't know if you saw this from my Instagram, but it looked like I was crying in the car for like 20 minutes and decided to like take my passport picture. But it's better than like this little bald boy that I was. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, so I'm gonna take you on this journey. This like unknown uncertainty. Don't even have my visa, but I'm moving and I'm waiting to get in Japan. Transition, all these things, mentorship, wellness, mindset. I'm taking you on this journey with me. And this is only the beginning. I'm so excited to have you on this journey. Until next time, bye.